Hi, Numkins. This is a game whose title I'm really struggling to read on this screen, so I'm quickly going to go to the Steam page and tell you it's Himantolo, which is a Japanese sort of Game Boy aesthetic horror game that just recently came out on Steam. It has multiple endings. I don't think it's super long. We're going to jump in and, and see what it's like and hopefully have a good time. We are a girl in a hospital, I believe. <laughs> Which sounds, on paper, not particularly fun, but uh, horror games settings aren't often the case. Good morning. What's that look for? You didn't think I would come? I didn't think I wouldn't come, did you? So how are you feeling? Your auditory hallucinations have gotten worse. Here is the medicine for dinner. Don't worry, you'll soon recover if you take your medicine. What's wrong? We're fine. You seem quite tired. You need to relax. Today, I will take care of you. Make an effort to sleep better. So translation isn't great, but it's okay. Like, it's- I understand what's vaguely going on. It's because of you. If you hadn't run away... You had a bad dream again? Come here. Don't worry. I'm always by your side. I slept late. Hmm, where did Yi Eun disappear to? Oh, this is Korean, judging by that name, actually, not Japanese. I have to find her. There's a note here. You got a name card. Okay. I can't seem to look at it. Oh, we can turn the light on. Our name is Ro. We were born in 96, we are female, and we have an anoxic brain injury. I think that's how you say that? I don't actually know. We've got pills. And there is a locked safe here, or well, briefcase, I guess, or some description. Oh, I wonder... Maybe 7796 for the code. I went right past it. Hmm, 0796? I don't know. <laughs> 9677? It's worth a check, right? I wish I knew how to look at things. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I doubt it's our... It's not gonna be our entry date, right? Marissa, Marissa, Marissa. Thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. Marissa Mortensen, thank you so much. I hope I'm saying your name right. But, today, I busted out a big list of positive words to describe you. And we're gonna go through a bunch of them here, okay? You are ravishing, radiant, intellectual, likable, neat, perceptive, quality, valorous, polish, polish is a bit weird, quick, spellbinding, sensational, skillful, promising, proactive, relevant, perseverant, phenomenal, uplifting, visionary, wholehearted, persuasive, timely, warm, unbelievable, impartial, tolerant, well-read, unselfish, splendiferous, kind, terrific, rapturous, whimsical, remarkable, enticing, sportive, organized, bubbly, trustworthy, precise, brainy, reasonable, and productive. Thank you so much, Marissa, for the support of Patreon. I hope they were all positive. But anyway, regardless, you're awesome. Thank you so much. If you want a shout out like this, guys, consider pledging to our Patreon. There's a link in the description. We do need some more support this month. I think we're about nine subs away from hitting our goal with half the month left at the time of recording. 
It'd be amazing if we could do it. We don't hit it every month, but if we do, it unlocks special playthroughs over there that everyone can access for just a dollar. So uh, go pledge. It's pretty fucking awesome. Anyway, thanks for listening, and enjoy this video. Oh, by the way, our producer Alice, she is also beautiful, charismatic, professional, devout, focused, obliging, pretty, outgoing, alive, nifty, feel alive, alive, alive is a positive, I mean, I guess it is a positive attribute, but still, thank you, Alice, for being non. Check out Alice's links on screen right now, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. Ah, if you click at the bottom of the screen, you can move around a bit better. I think someone's sleeping. It's me. Hmm. So you face the room that you're in, which is an unusual design choice. Hi. Do you want pills? Pills here? Your friend? I didn't see her. If you're in a hurry, ask the nurse. <clears throat> this is Lee Jar. Born in 1947. Has a brain tumor. Got a locked thing there. Okay. That is not my room. I mean... I don't think that matters that much, I'm gonna be honest. Hi. Your carer? Nothing about carer's contact information remains on us. If you include contact number, I'll contact her. Certainly, I had a name card. Your carer? I'll try and contact her. She doesn't answer the phone. I'll call her later. Can you just wait in your room? I don't really want to do that. I can't go while the nurse is watching. Number four has lots of charms attached to it, which is a bit weird. Let's return to my bed for now. Okay, I guess that's what... Hi. I don't want to approach her. I don't blame you. Probably just someone attending a furry convention. Or not. It's fine. No big deal. Let's wait for now. No word from the nurse. Go see her one more. Yeah, the translation isn't great, but I get the gist. It's not like complete gobbledygook. Hi! Do you have any needs? Is this a dream? I mean, if it's a dream, it doesn't matter if you go when the nurse is watching, right? Mm, got a jammy, whatever the fuck that is. You can check the password by rubbing a blooded cloth against the note next to it. Huh. Soul maggots eat rotten souls. Rotten souls are those who have forgotten their rancor and stayed down. It is unknown exactly where soul maggots appear, but there is a hypothesis they occur naturally when rotten souls reside. Excellent. Alright, we have a fucking safe here. I got a tea bag. Okay. I'm saving a lot because there's if I if I do decide that I want to get other endings. Hi. I don't want to approach her. Alright, we have a locked door and a creepy girl guiding a staircase. Oh great. There are unknown scribbles. Excellent. I love some unknown scribbles. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. Please go to the counter. Hang on, is this my room? No, it's not. 
But maybe the password will work here as 2886. Eighty six twenty eight. I say what? Am I being an idiot? Could it be four? Because uh, twenty eight is a double digit. I was going to say maybe it'd be four two eight six, but no. And then finally, eight six five four. Sorry. I doubt it. I don't know where I'm going to get these fucking codes from, I'm going to be honest with you. They don't seem to make any sense in terms of contextual clues in the rooms, which is weird. Alright, no, 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 leave that alone. I think that's all that's in this one. We seem to be given free reign of the hospital, despite the fact the nurse is right there. We've got a rag. Can we get it wet? No, can we moisten the rag is what I want to do. I can't get the wrapping tape off. So we need a knife, presumably? That's okay. So that just turns these off. I can't seem to interact with them on it. And I can't use the rag on this yet. It's not bloody enough. I don't know. Rag is different to cloth as well. I don't know if they're different or that's just like you know, the way the game is. I don't know. Uh, Why can't I go? Okay, here. Hi. Oh my head. Hey, I need a pill. You do? Phew, I feel better, thank you. Come to think of it, I guess that pill is not mine. I think I should take my own pill. Will you bring me pills if you pass by my room? The draw number is 1986. I'm a fucking idiot! Okay, let's go and do that. Oh my god. Oh shit, there's loads of places I didn't go. Which one was his room? This one. That's probably what ours is as well. I should go back to our room and do that. It's probably just the full fucking year we were born. What is this? Oh, okay. I do know what this is. Hang on, why didn't... why didn't that work? Didn't I just solve the puzzle? Oh my god, that took... I took ages again to fucking solve that. Alright, pills found. Pills here. There's a lot to look around here though, I didn't even realise how much there was. Hi! Something is eating. Oh, this pill is accurate, thank you. Uh. Seems I made a mistake. He's probably fine. Someone's gonna be in one of these toilets, isn't it? Knock knock! What did I get? I got a rag and a tea bag. Nothing in those ones. This one looks a bit more ominous somehow. A more ominous... I don't know how a toilet looks ominous. But the one in there definitely looks more ominous. Pick up a delicious urinal cake to take with us. Maybe we can bribe somebody with it. What is this? It seems broken, Bokken. Alright. Let's go back to our room for a second, which is... I don't actually know which one it is. 
Not this one. Nineteen ninety one could be the password here. Oh, this person doesn't even have a password. And we can't talk about the jam. The jam's like, it's pretty normal. I mean, it is a hospital, I guess, so I guess the jam could be considered to be pretty normal. Oh, I didn't think check the bathrooms in places. What the fuck is this? It's me. Excellent. I'm glad we're on top of that, at least. Yeah, let's try uh, our password again as... 1996. Nah, okay. We aren't... We. I guess we're not as stupid as, uh... The other guy. How you doing? Too bad you're still looking for her. Hey, can you give me a cup of tea? At night I have trouble getting around. She unlocked the upper drawer. Do you mean this? Oh, she does. I've got an empty cup. Okay, so we need boiling water. Can we just use the water from the hot tap? I don't know how that's going to work, but I think it's worth a shot. I got a cup of tea. Hey. I wonder if giving everyone things that they ask for just kills them in this game. <laughs> I'm not overly optimistic about this. Oh, this is the wrong fucking room. She's in here. We're in one because we're the best. We're number one. Oh, thank you. I'll better sleep better now. Great. What's my reward? Give me shit. Oh, uh, whatever. Lee Jar. You better fucking be grateful, okay? I think this is just the same shit, right? Like, <laughs> these guys are fucking... Would you like a rag? Oh, I wipe blood on the rag. Hey, That's like the clue for the room this way, right? So, two right... Five left? Let me just look at that again. Two right, five left seems to be correct. Let's reset that. It's a four digit code though. This doesn't make any sense. Oh. That makes more sense. I don't understand the lights, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I don't understand this. This is bad. Um, two right, five left. Like, that's what it definitely says. There's no numbers on it either, right? So, like, I can't, like, unless it means one, two. So that's two. Okay. And then... Five would be that, but that's not right. Can we not open the charm room? What was in here? What is this? Okay, so this is a new room. We hadn't been in yet. The doll is uncanny. I'm not even sure really that that means, I'm going to be honest with you. Huh. 
Hi. Oh, it's the long neck woman from uh, Changido. Might die here. It's okay. Or not. If we tell the nurse there's a woman with a really long neck walking past the floor of the building, do you think she might, like, you know... Someone is taking a shower. I feel like the safe is what we need to do, but I, it, it just doesn't work. Or maybe open our own... Like, thing? But again, like... You don't look well. Take this key. See a doctor. Oh, this... A counselling room key. Oh, okay. Alright, where was there other locked doors? Because I'm guessing it's not like... It's not that. Not the elevator, because that's just broken. It's not in here, because that's where the flesh-eating maggot things are. Um, what's in here? Oh, yeah, this. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think I just brute-forced this. I got a ritual dagger. Okay. Well, that took a long time. But I literally just fucked around with the safe and something happened. I'm pretty sure this is the counselling room, by the way. There is a tiny hitbox to click on this door. There are two doors. There are two doors. It looks like there's one. That's so bad. You, a patient has moved to an emergency room as a result of, to your conduct. I'm short on workers because of you. If you're feeling guilty, assist me with my work. Go to room 702 and see the third patient. The patient is head attached twin sister. Help me with the patient. This sounds like a terrible idea, but I've got a feeling we might have to separate some conjoined twins. Thing is, we can't get past this girl. Room 702. And we can't ride the elevator because it's full of... Well, whatever that is. Can I cut the charms off the door? No, but I could potentially cut the teddy bear up, right? Stab the bear! Something happened! This is some of the most cryptic bullshit I've seen in the world, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, it's actually... Unreasonable. Some of the things that you need to do in this game. Thing is, I don't really know what else to do now. She's still there. Maybe... Oh! No, 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 no! The box! Yes! I got a voodoo doll. Okay. What am I going to use a voodoo doll for? You scared of voodoo dolls? Be scared of voodoo dolls. I can't combine items, otherwise I would cut the voodoo doll apart, because it does look... interesting, at least. I got toilet paper! Oh, maybe the person in the toilet, the one that's like, when you're like, knock, knock, maybe they need some toilet paper? Would you like some toilet paper? Do you need some toilet paper? Do you need some toilet paper? At the moment, none of you seem to need toilet paper. Maybe someone in one of these needs toilet paper. Which one was the cursed one? Yeah, you. Oh! With dreamy and emotional, or with realistic and ratchet, you get different results. 
I got a clue there, but I skipped half the fucking dialogue. I gave a ghost in a toilet some fucking... So dreamy and emotional, or something irrational, but I can't remember what it said at any point, so, um... I guess I'm gonna commit to another save, like, at this point in time, I feel like I'm fully committed anyway. So that was a clue for something, but I've no idea what. All I can think of now is opening this. Oh, actually, maybe the doll can be used on the blood symbol? Where is the blood symbol? This is the bear, right? Yeah, okay, fuck the bear. Which room has the blood symbol? It's one of you fuckers. Yeah, you. There are unknown script. God damn it. Okay, yes, yeah, I still don't know what this is. I thought maybe, like, um... The, uh, the voodoo doll would react to the blood sigil or some shit. Can I just stab the nurse? I feel, I feel like that would be quite a good use of my time, I'm gonna be honest with you, in terms of progress. Oh, who the fuck is this? I believe I have a good way. A few years ago I heard in the left room in the women's restroom on the seventh floor, clap three times, something will appear. It will find what you've lost. Okay, well that's the first clue I've had in a while. So, women's restroom... Okay. I clap three times. Hi! It seems to be wanting something. Do you want this? What do you think it wants? Well, at the moment, it's not wanting anything that I've got. But I will be back. Because that is some progress, finally. Do you think more toilet paper? You can never have too much toilet paper, I'm going to be honest with you. Yep. We can take more, so I'm optimistic that the ghost just needs to wipe. You don't want fuck- Mind you, in this game, you can never tell. Right, toilet paper is not what it wants. But it's nice to know I can take an almost limitless supply of toilet paper from a room. I want to try something, by the way. Can I get jam on any of this again? No. I also want to try something in case my brute force was, uh... Very unlucky. I'm oh, sorry, very lucky. That's not the word. Very lucky. Okay, so I can't cover the second half of this in jam. And I can't open anything else in here. I'd love to microwave a doll. Or something. I'd like to do something. I'd like something to happen somewhere with something. You know? But I don't seem to be having any luck with that at the moment. Please move. Please. I really, really need you to fucking move so I can get in this room and do what they asked me to do. But it won't let me, and it's really, really, really annoying. Okay, so this is room two, not seven. I guess seventh floor. You came to see me because the doctor referred you. I'm sorry, but I haven't decided yet. If you're not too busy, could you help us choose? I've got an empty syringe. So that's a new item. I hate the fact that this... That it's just so fucking weird, some of the fucking things. Okay. I can't cut them apart with a dagger, which I was kind of hoping. The empty syringe, though... I don't know where I'm going to fill that up, but maybe something's changed now? Like, the aesthetic of this is great, but it suffers from point-and-click game syndrome, where you have no idea what you're doing 99% of the time. This wasn't here before. 
This is in our bedroom. Happy 23rd birthday to you. I'm happy to see you smile, and I'm happy every day you let us continue to be together. So, it's going to be 0412 for our code. Or maybe 1204. Thank fuck. Yeah, that wasn't there before. We got a ring. I'm guessing the toilet demon wants the ring. It better want the fucking ring, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, Toilet Demon, take it. Yeah, it gave us whatever the fuck this is. A red note. Time to use the red note on everything. I'm actually gonna try and give it to the nurses because I need to get rid of both of them, so. You don't look well, okay, she's saying nothing different. Maybe this one over here might say something. Is this, where did you get this from? This is something you have to handle on your own. I'll interpret the text. You require the impure blood and the soul. You'll find what you lost with it. Be great if you move, though. All right, the impure blood and the soul. I think I should probably check every room as. Okay, hi. Have you been looking for me? I took a short walk. Don't worry, I'm not leaving anywhere. I think there is a problem with you. You need impure blood, huh? Would you mind checking with the patient in room seven o five? Okay. Hi. What are you looking at? Leave me alone. My blood? What are you trying to do with it? I won't give it. Go away. Nobody is typical. What does that even mean? What is this? Oh, we have to make the symbol. Okay. I actually vaguely understand this. For once. Alright, so he, he looks great. Um, this is going to absolutely suck. Because there's no fucking way I'm remembering what this looks like. Unless I take a picture of it, which is what I am immediately now doing. Uh-huh. Ah-ha-ha-ha. Uh, Fooled your game. All right, this better fucking work, all right? Okay, so more stuff definitely unlocks and is contextual, which I don't really like in this kind of game, but I, I, I get why. Oh my god, like, none of this looks good. All right, that looks right. That is correct. Hmm. So the problem is, right? I feel like... I feel like that's right. Oh, we have to try it until it's right. Fuck. So this is the closest we've got. This is... not quite right, but it's getting there. That's right. What the fuck? That just added something in it that doesn't... Oh, never mind. Never mind. We got nails. Why do we need nails? I really need your blood. Okay. I genuinely don't know. Oh, what is this? Excuse me, may I ask you something? My brother is very unwell. They say it isn't good. Can my brother get better? Right, it's insane what the doctors say. Okay, so we got a little boy. And I guess his sister? Oh, his sister. Okay. But I've no idea what to do now. What am I going to do with the fucking nails? I need impure blood and a soul. I find what I lost without them. 
I genuinely, genuinely have no fucking clue what to do. Again. And we still can't open this. And this one is still locked too, right? Yeah. And you don't want nails. At all. I still wonder what this area's for? Like, there's nothing here at the moment. And we can't interact with any of these. It's so weird. Would you like some nails to eat, sir? It doesn't want any nails to eat. Oh, it was worth a shot. And she doesn't want any nails, I'm guessing. Fuck me. So who wants the fucking nails? And why does he have them? Uh, there's too many questions. Do you mind poking it? I just used a ritual dagger on the child. Why not? Why not? I filled the syringe with blood. You'll recover. Go home if you get better. Well, whatever. We got the we got the blood. You require the impure blood and the soul. You'll find what you lost without it. I don't know what I lost. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, my sanity from the adventure game logic in this game is definitely one of the things. Let's check on the bear. I feel like the bear's got the bear's got to be something. Inject the bear. Yes. Hi. The doll got a human body. It feels alive. Do you like nails? Do you like toilet paper? Do you like a doll with a charm? Do you like getting stabbed? Do you like a bloody rag? Maybe the creepy lady will help me more now. The one in the... What is happening? I think this might be us. Or not? I have no idea what that was. I already have the impure blood, okay? I already have the impure blood. Everything's great. Everything is the best it's ever been. The best. Okay. I'm not trying to take your blood anymore. I don't even need it. I don't need that shit. What I need is to figure out what to do next. Which, in this game, is a massive, massive difficulty. Hang on. May you need Now you need the soul. Get a heart or a brain. Also put it in the object when you get it. Okay, well, I get that. I need to put a brain in the bear. Okay, got it. I'm not quite sure why the, bre the bear is so important. But we got an objective. I understand that as much. Who's been taking a shower this long? Aren't they dead? Aren't they like a wrinkled... Oh, this isn't it. No, the bear's just here. All right. Okay, bear Chan. I'm gonna level with you. I have no idea where your soul is, so you'll have to bear with me while I try and figure out who I've got to kill to get it. Okay, so I can go back behind the nurse now. There's been no no one has told me why. I guess I have permission from the other nurse, but the game doesn't inform you of that. So I got an anesthetic, and I got what did I get. I got. An empty vial as well, which is great. I drew it using information gathered over months. Her features include a long neck, long hair, and a pregnant belly, and children wouldn't attach where her legs would be. They said she had mental problems. She was probably very attached to her only child mentally. It seems that she tried suicide after her ex-husband killed her because she had no way to handle it. 
According to the accounts of the affected patient, she appears to approach the mentally weakened, and I said that the weakened person would have attempted suicide while seeing hallucinations. I do it using... Okay, that's the same thing. Alright, okay. Alright, this is like the staff locker room. We have a locked thing. With a cross, a dollar sign, a circle... Alright, I mean, I have no idea what this is, I'm gonna be honest with you. At the moment, absolutely no fucking clue what that is. But that's okay. I don't know what this is either. Or if I should be using anything on it. I've got a horrible feeling, right? That we might need to use the anesthetic on on this guy. Okay, maybe not. What will we use? Oh, maybe, um... Maybe the twins? I completely forgot they existed, I'm gonna be honest with you. I also can't remember what room they're in, which is great. Here they are. Could you help us choose? They don't want this. They don't want this. They don't want that. Oh, I placed a doll on the bed. I can't exist with a social. I don't have the courage to see my sister's death. My sister's always lived for me. Now I want her to live her own life. What doll should I nail? Thank you always, sister. Okay. I'm guessing shit like this affects the ending. So now will the doctor be like, Well done! You're an accredited... <laughs> You're accredited here. We did. You did well. You finished. Well done. Next, the second patient in room 702. She has social phobia. Speak with her. I have no idea who that is, by the way. Because the room numbers don't make any sense. They're like complete bollocks. Oh, hi! I guess you're new. Doctor sent you. I told him I'm alright. I'm just fine. Tell him again, please. Can I stab you? Alright, doesn't look like there's much else here. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I'll tell him. Although I'm not optimistic he's gonna listen. Nah, he... Okay. He doesn't seem particularly... I got a treatment room key. For this room? Yep. Yeah. Hi! Her body is trembling. Would you like some anesthetic? I administered anesthetic. I got an antiseptic as well. How to? One, put to sleep. Two... What the fuck is this? I don't fucking know! Could be anything! The path of the dead I eaves a trace. Countless hospital patients who died using its elevator. The trace of the death in the elevator created blood and flesh. Makes sense. We have seen that pile of gross blood and shit. It was like... Okay. I wish I knew what half the shit I was looking at is. That's one of my biggest problems at the moment. How am I gonna do the code for this? Like, I have no- I have no idea on what the code would be. And how I'd find it. I'm gonna be honest. But we have made a lot more progress. Can you fucking- can you just fucking fuck off? I wonder if- uh, at some point, the person in the shower has to leave the shower, right? Like, they can't shower for the entire game. Because if they do that, It'll just be weird. That's my thinking, by the way. I don't think that's right, though. Oh, yeah, they've showered themselves again. I'll give you some advice. Not everything you see is real. When hallucinations weaken you, she will eat you too. She left me first. I got the trophy. Punish the man with the shower. Okay, that's great and everything, but... Do you want some gauze? <laughs> 
Do you want some, any of these items? Alright, so there's the gauze. Do you want antiseptic? I mean, it looks like you could do with salt, I'm gonna be honest with you. <coughs> An empty vial? No. Toilet paper? No. A ritual dagger? No. A bloody rag? No. Okay, well, I do appreciate everything you've done for me, Toilet Man. I just wish I understood why in the name of fuck. Alright, you need a brain, so a, a soul. So until we have a brain, you're like off the menu. I just did realise something. In all the toilets, there's these little clues, right? Oh my god, this is the code for the fucking box. Give me a minute. This is the code for the box. There's a bunch of them lying around. Uh, not the box, the locker, I think is what it is. Give me a sec. You have to look at these different bits around the place. Hang on, it's not that right. There we go. I thought it was right, I clicked the wrong thing. There are living snakes! Great! Do you want some gauze? Or an antiseptic? Or an empty vial? Or a ritual dagger? I got the snakes' bodies. Hell yeah! Don't know why, but we'll take them. We'll take it. We'll take everything we can get at this point in time with this game. Because holy shit, this has been an adventure. This has been a roller coaster ride. I can't take any of this though, right? Nah, she's fine anyway. No big deal. Who's here? You. I don't care about you. What do I want snakes' bodies for? Who wants snakes' bodies? <laughs> There's so many questions unanswered here. Do you. Ah, uh, okay. I got medicine. That's a strong. That's a strong word. I can get a phone call from Yeun. I'm sorry, but the person you called is not available. All right, fine. I don't. I. I, I guess that's what is happening. Well, I feel like this is excellent progress. Let's see if we can do more with this girl. What do I need to do for her? <coughs> oh, we need the gauze. But what do I do with the gauze? I really hope this isn't a bug, by the way, and she's, cause it says she's trembling still. I don't know what to do with the gauze. Why did it suddenly work? I just put antiseptic on her, apparently. I wiped her with a rag. Surgery's ready to go. Oh no, it's a sliding puzzle. So, a lot of the stuff in this game, by the way, I'm gonna be honest, is total bollocks. Uh, like, it's not a bad game, but it requires such a ridiculous amount of, um, luck and trial and error. Like, there'll be things that work, and then other times they don't work at all. Does that make any sense? Like... I think I just did it. I got a heart. Okay, so we got a heart. Do I need a brain or do I is the heart enough do you think for the bear? That actually wasn't that bad as a sliding puzzle. That only took me like 5 minutes. Could have been a lot worse, I'm going to be honest. Here. Take this. I put the heart in it. Hi, long time no see. Do you still miss her? She left you. Left you... Like you left me dying. It's time to accept it. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna leave the room. Hi. Oh, you're still there. 
Did s oh, did you just go in the room to kill her? Huh. All right, well, that's progress. I don't really understand any aspect of this story. I'm going to be honest with you. But I don't hate it. Here, take this medicine. Uh, explain it properly and give it. I have no mind, but I'll give it some thought. I'm done. Let's see the doctor once more. Okay. So we did the nice option there, because I've done the bad option, I think, most of the time thus far. You did well. It would have been the right choice. Okay. Okay. So what do I do now? She's sleeping. She's gone. That's my bed, actually, I just realized, so she hasn't gone. Huh. Alright, I can't talk to her anymore. In fact, all of these seem closed off now that were busy before. I just realized the reason there's blood everywhere is that's a limb amputation patient. Alright, so now what? You've completed all written tasks. I'm not sure if you've done it right. I hope you'll accept the outcome of your choice. I mean, I definitely did it wrong, right? I still have no idea why this other half of this code, which is clearly meant to be here, by the way, didn't show up. But I guess it doesn't matter too much at this point. The question is, what do I do to trigger, like, the final scenes? Um... Hi? I'm caught by her, and I became part of her. I'll continue? Hmm. So what do I do in that instance? Hang on, is there something in in here now that I can access maybe? I don't know, bear. What do I do? If I go into room 4, I die, right? That's like a that's just a fact it seems. That's locked now. Is there any other weird shit going on in... I can't go into room 2. I guess we look around. All the creepy shit's gone, except the one that can kill me. I'm not going to check the toilets. I think that's a bad idea. Alright, the pile of flesh is still in the elevator, though, because... Good. That's locked. I don't want to approach her. She's a bear now! What's wrong with the adorable bear? She's so much nicer than she was before. Oh shit. What is this? Hi! I can't take it anymore. It's been choking me. It comes to me even if I escape. But you and I are not the same. You can endure the agony. She's going to look for dead bodies when she wakes up. Make a passageway using her. And when she comes to me, don't let the chance to get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna save. I have absolutely no idea what this means, because the translation is pretty bad. Um... The question is, where do I go? <sighs> the elevator's fucked, okay? The elevator's fucked, and then... But, I don't know, maybe I can bait her. Alright, I saved anyway. So let's go over to where she is. Oh my god, if I can figure out the controls to do so. Okay, this is new. I must run away. Okay. I'm dead, because I went back like an idiot. 
And the same cutscene is going to play. This is a cool aesthetic, by the way. I must run away. Yep. Got it. We go up here. We go right. She's eating. We go down. We go down. We go into room seven. She's eating. We go back. We go here. Yes! Okay, I had to feed her both maggot infested corpses. Wow. This, I thought, would be a really short little game, judging by its price, but this took fucking hours with how cryptic it was. Like, I'll give my thoughts in a minute. I ran on without looking back. I felt as if I'd forgotten something. Yeah, we're not getting the true ending, guys. But there were no longer any auditory or hallucinations. Whatever happened in the past, I'll continue to advance. Oh, this is like an optimistic ending, it seems. Ending one, escape. I'll take it. I will take it, considering the amount of time this took to fucking record. Holy shit. It's a cool little game with a cool concept behind it, but it suffers from crazy blue sky thinking, like with the puzzles. Like, a lot of it just doesn't make any sense, and a lot of the events seem to trigger at random after you've wandered around for like 10 minutes. I'll give you an idea, this video is probably going to be like 40 minutes, an hour maybe at most. This, I've been recording this for two and a half hours at this point, because of the amount of time it took just, just staring at nothing most of the time. I have no idea how I got past the safe puzzle. After I did it, I looked it up, and other people just have the whole fucking code in their videos. So I don't know why- <laughs> You saw me trying to rub it off, I don't understand. I don't understand. But it doesn't matter, because we beat it. There was him Himantolo. I think it's okay. It's Korean, not Japanese, like I said at the beginning, and for what it is, it's pretty decent, just pretty frustrating at times because it just relies on, like, crazy shit to be able to progress. Um, I don't know if that's down to translation sometimes, or just down to the way the game is designed, I I'm not entirely sure. But I'll give it, for the artwork and the cool stuff in it, I'll give it... I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. It's not amazing, but it is an acceptable game that has a lot more content probably hidden in it if you guys uh, want to give it a whirl yourselves. It's very cheap, like, it cost me like £2. Um, definitely worth the asking price considering I just played it for two and a half hours and I expect a game like that to be 30 minutes. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like, let me know what you think in the comments section below, and... I will see you guys really, really soon. And that is no. See you later, guys. Bye.